Hi guys, my name is Yulia and me, my husband and my daughter have been living in Istanbul for almost seven months and I decided to show this city a little bit, to tell about it, maybe you will learn something interesting for yourself. It's my first time here, that's why everything is new for me. Of course, we've been here in Turkey before for the vacations in the resort cities like Khmer, Marmaris, Bodrum, but to learn Turkey from the inside, I started here in Istanbul. So, let's go! Well, English is not my native language, as you could notice. Anyway, I'll try to tell about Istanbul as well as I can. I make mistakes sometimes, çok pardon. And one more thing, in this video I'd like to show you Istanbul through my eyes and through eyes of my family. So, it's our own experience and it can be different than yours, okay? Let's get started. The city is alive and dynamic and I liked it right away. You know, sometimes when you come to the new city and from the very beginning you realize if it's your city or not. Well, as I could feel, Istanbul was mine. At least when I've just arrived, everything here was harmonious, nicely and cool for me. And when we started to walk... It's my daughter. When we started to walk and explore the city, to make some documents, to meet new people, to join life of the city, in short, the first thing that we've noticed was kindness of the people here. How smiling and kind people are. Hi, Merhaba! Where are you Where are you going? Diana, stop! Diana! I joke, pardon! Yes, so we just... I don't know these people for sure, but we just walking around and exactly. Diana just Diana. came to this house Diana. and now eating halva. <laughs> Oh. Guys, I'm shocked. You can see this. I mean, you understand, right? Turkish people, you are so cool. And also, they are always ready to help you. For example, me trying to find some place in Google Maps and I cannot find it. If I ask local to help me, he will bring together all the people around and they will call meeting about where is the place I'm looking for and how to help me. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> She said thank you. For what? I don't know. But okay. And everyone here say mashallah to the children. It means like um, God bless her. Like this. Well, even the person doesn't speak English, he knows few words and uh, he will help you in simple language for sure. Or also we can use translator. It's not a problem for locals here. And they wait patiently while you typing sentences that you want to say. Çok teşekkürler. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. Diana, будешь чай? And wherever you go, to the market, to the post office, to some municipal office, everywhere, you will be greeted with a smile. You just meet satisfied with life and happy people. The second thing that we were surprised about was attitude to the children. So, as you could see already, I think I don't even need to tell something more about this. So once my husband Sasha and my daughter Diana went to ATM to take some cash. It was cold and wind weather outside and bank employees saw Diana from the window. She ran out and took Diana inside the bank and started to play with her to draw something and so on while Sasha withdrew money. Unfortunately, I don't have enough words in English, I think, to describe my feelings inside about this. And the, th and the third thing that we were and the third thing that we were surprised for was attitude towards homeless cats and dogs. As I can see, special relation to the cats. It's kind of culture here. There are homes for cats everywhere on the streets. Also, there is food and water for them. Cats are allowed to come inside the shops. Cats are welcome everywhere. But there is a reason for that attitude to the cats. It believed that cats go to heaven and they will tell to Allah all the good things that you did throughout life and after you will be rewarded. One more version that cat helped to kill a venomous snake which crawled to sleep of Apostle of Allah. Well, yes, cats are associated with religion. Turkey is a religious country, as you know. There are lots of mosques and each has a speaker from which daily, five times a day, all over the city you can hear the call to prayer Azan. Prayer is called Namaz, also known as Salah. It's a five-fold prayer in Islam. The first prayer starts at sunrise and the last one is at sunset.
But in my experience, there are not that much religious people here in Istanbul, at least among younger generation. But it's my opinion and it can be wrong. By the way, now it's Ramadan, Islamic holy month, and as you know, Muslims don't eat before the sun goes down. But they have one option to eat before the sun rise. That's why traditionally, special men with the drum walking on the streets at 3 a.m. to wake fasting people up and also ask that's really interesting experience. Those were our first expressions about Istanbul. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about life here. So generally it's comfortable city for life, but in the beginning, of course, everything is new for you, like food, money, traffic rules also. For example, if I cross the street on the crosswalk, they will beep me like, hey, where are you going? But when I cross the street wherever I want, wherever, 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 oh my God, they stop and let me through. Well, kind of these features you start to learn too. And of course, when you come to some new place, you want to try local cuisine first. That's why you're just walking, eating food like durum, kebab, rice with chickpeas, baklava and other Turkish sweets. Be careful! There are applications with food from restaurants and also each grocery store here has their own application for the delivery. So generally, it's not that expensive to live here, but as locals and people who live here for a long time say, like, it's already expensive so it was cheaper before and of course Turkey now is very popular country for life and for journeys also that's why prices up even we noticed the difference after seven months I will explain you the case of ground coffee the city is certainly super beautiful it's so bright noisy and colorful I was walking like with open mouth at first before I came here my top beautiful cities were Venice and Budapest but now I have one more city in my top list <laughs> It's surrounded by two seas, which are Sea of Marmara and Black Sea. The Bosphorus Strait passes through Istanbul. Actually, the city is divided into two sides, which are Asian or Anatolian, in other words, and European. And there are good connections between these parts, by the way. You can use Marmaray, it's like a fast speed tram. Also, you can use the boat, boats departure every 10-15 minutes, and it's like a usual bus for us, but river bus. Metro is also good here, but I think it's a little bit long waiting on the platform, it's about about four or six minutes and on the weekend it can be longer probably subway transfer is paid less than fare but anyway and the fare is 9 and 90 Turkish Lewis and when we've just arrived it was less as well by the way all the transportation is paid by one Istanbul card that's really comfortable also there is Metrobus or Metrobus I don't know so Metrobus it's like a normal bus but it goes on special fancy dedicated line in the center of the road it means it doesn't know what traffic jam is so super fast way to cross all the city by the way all the routes you can discover in move it application to use taxi can be complicated a little bit for the first time because here usually to call taxi uh, people just raise up their hands on the road but also there is uber and b taxi it's local application because for example uber says like your trip gonna cost 70 Turkish Liras a driver writes to you in chat like it's gonna cost 200 Turkish Liras and say like and driver said it's traffic now we're trading for 100 Turkish Liras because I'm with Diana and I really need this taxi right now and deal yes it can happen but that is not so often and probably you know Turkish then problem yok as they say Bike sharing is not relevant here at all because of the hilly streets. That's why there is electric scooter and motor sharing. <laughs> we were talking about hilly streets. Now I'm gonna show you. Playgrounds for children are everywhere, even if it's not that much place for it, but it definitely will be placed. And sometimes with interesting ramp. And the question is how to get to this playground with stroller. But there is playground, that's fine. There are a lot of cool parks in Istanbul where you can spend time with your family. Parks are clean with a beautiful landscape, ponds, playgrounds, coffee shop or restaurants. Often there are gazebos and tables for picnic. It's very popular here on the weekend. And also there are lots of private kindergartens and playgroups. Our daughter goes to this playgroup and she likes it so much. All the children there speak only Turkish, but two years old don't need any language. They just play and have fun. And you know what I realized while spending time on international playgrounds? That playground shows the meaning of the life. Everyone gets alone 
and wish only one is safety, happiness and health for their children. Just everyone wants this. Okay, what's interesting more? Perfume shops are everywhere. They can make copy for any flavor. As you know, it's normal here to sell and also to buy fake stuff. That's why everyone here wears Louis Vuitton and smells like Gucci. Every Sunday there is weekend market. It's located right on the road in the yards. That's why roads sometimes are blocked. Here you can buy fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts and all that stuff. And instead of no, they can answer... For example, if I go to some shop and ask like... If there is S size, they can answer. <laughs> that is so fun! These red stalls you can find everywhere. One of the most popular buns in Turkey, Simit, is for sale here. And this is how they collect scrap metal, electronics and garbage for sorting. And one more story. So once I went to the pharmacy and I asked some medicine and uh, there was peanut in the seller's hand. And she said, okay, I will bring this medicine, just a minute. And you want some? And she just gave this peanut to me. So it's everything like this here. I refused, of course, but she just offered it to me. That was so nice. Looks like I have stories about people more than about the city. <laughs> but I think the people are the most important. Because it is the people create the atmosphere and your impressions from the city, country or any place you come. So there is no problem in Turkey with this. And we can learn from them to be that positive and cheerful. Actually, to get and to learn something new for yourself from other cultures, that is so cool. You are opening up to the world and the world is also become more open to you. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like if yes and like if no. Bye.